Hey guys, this is Naveen here. Welcome back to Naveen Automation Labs. So in the list interface guys, we have one more class. Today we are going to talk about that is the vector class. So far we have seen array list and we have seen link list. And uh, now today we are going to talk about vector. So you can see this is a class which is implementing list interface. And then we have one stack class which is extending vector class and uh, your array list class is available over here which is also implementing this particular list interface and then we have a linked list class that we have already discussed which is also implementing list interface so vector and array list almost same except couple of uh, differences are there and the vector is very old like when we started jdk 1.0 from that time vector is available so vector is almost we can say legacy uh, list is available in uh, collection API. So uh, let's see a uh, different various uh, differences between vector and uh, array list over here and vector and array also. So first we know that okay why we are using a vector and vector is dynamic and arrays are static in nature and size is fixed over here. It could easily grow and shrink accordingly. The moment you add the values and the, remove the values from the vector automatically it will be increased and decreased. So that's why vectors are a dynamic in nature vectors can store only objects and array can store primitive types as well as object also size method is available here the length method is available and then we have one more concept that uh, array supports our dimensions like we have 1d array 2d array 3d array but as such no concept dimension but can be created as vector or vectors we can create that that i'll show you this is called 2d vector so people might ask you this kind of interview question that what do you mean by 2d actor now vector is synchronized it is uh, synchronized that's where the performance of this vectors are a little slow as compared to array and but array is not synchronized and vector is slower than array as i told you that an array is always faster because this is not synchronized at a time only one thread can access uh, for the read operation update and delete operation <clears throat> and the get operation only one thread at a time can access vector right and it reserves additional storage when capacity is incremented it means in fact uh, they have the concept of virtual capacity initially and it does not reserve any additional storage that's a typical difference between a vector and uh, array and uh, yes it supports generics and does not support any generics over here so this is the basic difference between vector versus array in fact if you see the differences between uh, array list and the array also similar kind of differences we have already uh, seen that now let's talk about vector versus array list, which is the interview question because they both are the implementation of a list interface. So let's see what is the difference between a, a vector versus array list. So luckily I got this, these differences from Google. So as I told you that uh, both are having the list interface. So this is my list interface and vector is also implementing this and array list is also implementing this. And as I told you, vector is available in Java collection from JDK 1.0 and array list introduced in JDK 1.2. It's a legacy class of Java and array list is part of the collection framework. Okay, so earlier it was not part of collection framework, but I think uh, uh, now it is the part of collection framework. Vector grows double its size when its capacity is uh, reached over here. It means, let's see, you have increased the capacity by uh, giving the capacity of 10. And once the 11th element will be uh, added automatically, it will be double. Array list grows by half the size of the capacity is reached that we have already discussed about it. Vector methods are synchronized. This is the most important difference. An array list is not synchronized. So tell me which one is faster? Vector is faster or array list is faster? So guys, array list is faster. That's why you can see that vector operations are slower because it is synchronized. Let's say this is my vector object. This thread and these number of threads they want to access. So once this thread is working, it will it will provide a lock over here on the entire object. This thread cannot enter over here. Why? Because this thread is already working. Once the lock is released, it means once the thread work is done, then only the second thread will come over here. But in case of array list, array list is not synchronized. So that is the main difference between vector and array list. Vector uses uh, uh, enumerator and iterator for traversing. It uses only iterator, and uh, vector has Increment size using which vector size can be increased. Array list does not provide any incremental uh, size over here. That I'll show you that uh, how can we increase the size using vector size. 
and then vector is a thread safe which means using vector from the multiple thread is permitted and is safe that we have already discussed about it because it's synchronized and array list is not a thread safe so these are the you know important uh, differences guys you can take the screenshot and then uh, you can please prepare this question people will ask you what is the difference between vector versus array list main difference is that vector <clears throat> is synchronized and array list is not synchronized otherwise almost everything is almost same between vector and end. now let's talk about how to implement a vector so i just created this particular class over here and uh, here i'm creating the object of a vector over here like that now what i'm going to do that uh, um, i have given the generics as integer i have added some uh, values over here simple now i want to print this particular vector so i simply write my vector over here and let's run it and uh, let's see what exactly the output you are getting so you are getting this particular output okay more than that other than that this add method is there to add the value and if i write dot a get method pass the index it maintains the order like array list so if i say that okay hey what exactly the value is available on second index so on second index let's see what is happening i'm directly printing system dot order print array and get two over here so you can see that this is zero this is one and two that's why you will get six over here like that right so add method to add the values get method to uh, get the values over here like that similar way you can remove so i simple write let's see uh, my vector dot remove let's say remove the third index value and then you print this particular my vector once again let's run it again and let's see so now you can see that okay this is 0 1 2 and 3 eighth is gone from this particular vector because whatever the value is available on the third position will be deleted will be removed from okay what else can we add uh, vectors uh, with some other collection so of course we can do that so let's say i'm going to create one more vector over here okay this is my uh, let's see <clears throat> i simply say that uh, my vector and this is your vector any random name you can write it and i'm going to add let's see dot add method i simply write 10 and your vector dot add i'm writing 11 over here and now what i want in this particular my vector i simply say add all method and pass your vector over here and then i'm going to print my vector over here once again so let's see what happens so in the my vector 10 and 11 is also added over here right guys so i can simply write <clears throat> 10 and 11 and you can see that okay yeah duplicate values are absolutely allowed over here 10 and 10 added two times right get method you can use it and uh, you can add it add all method also you can use it now how to iterate you can iterate a typical for each loop you can use it so i simply write let's see a for each loop right now what type of values we have we have integer with the e in which list in this particular my vector okay and i simply write system dot out print ln print the value of e so e will be traversing one by one and then it's printing over here you can use a typical for loop also so let's write it i'm writing let's see p is equal to zero up to p less than what whatever uh, my vector dot size method and then p plus plus and then i'm going to write system dot out print ln my vector dot get and i'm passing p over here so once again values will be printed one by one you can see that 2 to 11 and this is because of for each loop okay fine now can we use iterator yes of course you can apply iterator also so let's see this is my my vector i'm going to apply iterator and uh, this iterator will give you what iterator of integer and then i'm going to store inside this particular it reference over here import this particular iterator import this particular iterator from java.util package and then i can write a while loop i simply write y it dot as next right and then system dot out of print ln i simply write it dot next over here and uh, let's see it is printing or not so yes again it's printing from 2 to 11. <clears throat> okay so these are the traversing methods remove method i have already uh, shown you like that so guys uh, these are the basic things are available in uh, in vector and uh, you can explore there are a number of methods are also available you can explore that but it's not that important 
if you really want to sort it you can sort also so you can use a collections class a dot a sort method and pass your vector my vector is my vector and when you print this particular my vector once again and then it will be sorted so let's run it so you can see that okay it's printing in the sorted order 2 4 6 10 10 11 12 14 16 like that so remember guys generally we don't use vector because uh, it is a uh, synchronized every method of vector is synchronized it means at a time only one thread can access that either you want to add the value or you want to uh, get the value so in this particular in this particular vector object let's see multiple threads are there they're trying to add the values over here let's see this thread is also wants to add the value this thread this thread and this thread they cannot do that because this is they all are synchronized but in case of error list they can do that they can access the value they can add the value they can update the value but in case of vector it is not possible because if this thread is working this thread cannot work okay it will provide a lock over here this thread will be locking this entire object once the thread work is done and the once the thread is killed then only the another object will enter and then get the value or update the value or write the value accordingly if multiple threads are trying to access it will give you concurrent modification error exception over here like that okay now one thing i told you people might ask you they used to ask uh, this question uh, how to create a 2d vector what do you mean by 2d vector it means vector inside a vector right a 2d vector is a vector that has uh, each of its element is also a vector right so you can say vector of vectors so i'll create a separate class for that so let me quickly create a class and i'm simple right let's see uh, vector 2d concept okay select the main method click on finish and uh, what i'm going to do that uh, <clears throat> i'm going to add let's see this time adding some values over here i'm creating a vector and this time using string type of values and uh, let's see this is my uh, first vector is equal to new vector okay or i give a proper name this is my let's see language vector language vector and this is also a taking okay import this particular vector from java.util package and language vector i'm going to add multiple programming languages let's see i'm adding java <clears throat> so let's see i'm adding uh, python i'm adding uh, ruby i'm adding java a script and then I'm adding it's C sharp. Now after this, I'm going to add it's a raw type, and I simply write vector OS vector is equal to this. And in this particular OS vector, I simply use add method. And what kind of object I want to add? Let's see language vector that I have added over here. It means in this particular vector, I have added one more vector over here. Now what I'm going to do that uh, I simply write a for loop, and then I'm going to start. Let's say integer i is equal to zero, and i less than what? I less than the language vector dot size right and then what i'm going to do that uh, from this particular os or vector i simply write dot get okay and pass the zeroth value dot get and i simply write <clears throat> pass i over here okay like that it means for i equal to zero os vector is already having at the zeroth position over here right guys this is the zeroth position get zero and get i it means i equal to zero so what exactly we have to do now it's saying add cast to os vector dot get zero so what i'm going to do that uh, i'm going to cast this entire thing from uh, here to here let me write it like this like this and then i'm uh, converting into a vector over here like and uh, then whatever get i it means it will start giving you strings over here so i'll repeat once again os vector get zero os dot vector get zero what exactly it will return it will return this guy language vector a language vector is what it's a vector so that's why i'm converting into a vector over here and then dot get i i is equal to zero it means this is zero it will give you java over here and it will give you what it will give you a string over here so let's say i'm writing a string str is equal to this and then i'm printing this particular i'm again i'm converting this entire thing into a string so let me convert into a string and then i'm printing system dot out print ln str over here 
So let's see what exactly it does. Let's run it and let's see. So you can see that okay, yeah, it's printing Java, Python, Ruby, JavaScript, and C sharp. So this is called guys vector 2D concept. 2D vector concept that array <clears throat> vector inside an vector. You can see that that I have created one simple vector, and inside this particular OS vector, I have added this particular vector. Now I'm going to iterate. I'll repeat once again. I'm trying to fetch OS vector dot get zero because this OS vector is having only one vector at the zero position. So obviously, once you get it, you have to convert that into right and then apply dot get i. The moment you apply dot get i, i is equal to zero first time just because of this for loop. So we will reach over here Java and whatever we are getting converting into a string and then storing in this particular string str and then printing it on the console. Although it's not that important. Generally, we don't use this thing, but it's a kind of interview question. People might ask you at a time of interview. So remember this thing. This is the example of a 2D vector. OK, so these are the things guys that you can uh, explain at a time of interview and as I told you that this is the uh, stack is also there which is extending vector and uh, the vector is implementing list interface and yeah the same hierarchy we have already seen that so that's all for this particular vector I really don't want to cover more things in vector it's not that important but uh, people if asking you what is the difference between vector and the uh, array list please uh, you can see this vector versus array list please Take the screenshot and prepare your questions accordingly. Till then, thank you so much, guys. Thanks for watching this video. Subscribe to the channel and let me know if you have any issues. Thank you so much.